good work by Locatelli there. Nice, nice interception, man. Hey guys, there are so many people who have not yet subscribed the channel. So what are you waiting for? Just click on that subscribe button, guys. Please support the channel. And there is a giveaway at 3.5k subscriber mark, guys. So don't forget to check the description as well because the link of that video is given in the description. And yes, guys, the only thing you need to do is just subscribe. So what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button now. Hey guys, my name is Gaurav and you're watching a Fireshark game. So today we are going to review this Locatelli's card. This is a FC Pro Live card and uh, in this, uh, as you can see, he is being used by Coven, uh, one of the pros who is playing the tournament. So let's just not focus on the upgrades and let's just see uh, how well-rounded this card is at the current situation because this card is valued around 90, 100, uh, 90k or 100k. Right now, if you look at his pace, guys, he has got 78 pace. 75 shooting, 83 passing, 81 dribbling, defending 86, physicality 87. So it's a very well-rounded card for a holding midfielder. Okay, his passing is nice. Agility balance, not that good, but he is a holding midfielder. So that, that will happen because uh, almost every holding midfielder have lesser agility and balance. But that's fine. This guy will be used for the defensive purposes and not as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Uh, defense wise he looks super solid on an anchor as well his uh, awareness reaches 91 standing tackle 98 and 90 slide tackle strength becomes 92 and jump becomes 91 so he is going to uh, win headers as well if you look at his play styles he has got incisive pass long ball pass tiki taka and relentless so he has got the passing and uh, physical traits as well but the only thing missing is the defending traits uh, which might be an issue, which might not be an issue because it depends on the AI of the player as well. So if you look at his alternative positions, he can play as a CM and CDM. If you look at his height, he has got 6-1 height, medium high work rate, 3-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot, right-footed player and mostly lengthy on an anchor. Even if you give him a shadow, he will be a mostly lengthy player. So shadow is not that much required at this stage of the game. Uh, what I would suggest is go for an anchor because it will boost his jump as well and he's gonna win headers for you because he doesn't have that uh, aerial and power header trait. Uh, so guys, this, this card really looks very nice, very solid even if it doesn't get an upgrade and the price point of this card is somewhere around 90k or 100k which is very well priced card because it gives links to Syria, Italy and Juventus. Another card is Barella who is good on the ball and who can play as a uh, midfielder but he plays as a box to box midfielder this guy as a holding midfielder so it's a very solid option from the Syria team 90k looking at the stats doesn't look that bad but let's see how he performs in game and then I'll be back with the review Forlan, there is Locatelli Locatelli is there let's pass it to Locatelli Frankie Jong plays Locatelli, let's Bruno look at Fernandes his passing, in uh, intercepted, that was a decent pass, it got intercepted, Locatelli, really Locatelli is just holding his position, right, which is nice, Chalo, ek goal mar ke aate Diego Locatelli strength wise decent, passing superb, Let's uh, slide mar raha bhai. Locatelli, let's go. Let's pass. The passing is beautiful. Locatelli's passing is nice, guys. Locatelli. Good interception. Then get the ball. Locatelli, let's see his dribble. Decent. Passing decent. The crowd urging him to shoot. That's a foul referee. Good work there by Locatelli. Good work there. And nice uh, hold man. Like he he is a player who can shield the ball. Which is nice. Look at that shielding. Dribbling not that great. Not, not so that agile. Of course that's expected man. He is not a player who will you will use for dribbling. Locatelli. Hare, how did he get the ball? This is what happens. Good, good work by Locatelli. Let's look at the speed. Speed is also decent. Locatelli has to be a chance to get something. Locatelli, nice positioning there. 
was not that great of a pass. That pass won't have happened. It's my fault. Orlan. And the spotlight certainly on Usman Dembele. Look at him making a run. Good, good. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Hey, that was. Oh my God. But that finishing is horrible, man. Good work by Locatelli there. Nice, nice interception, man. For what will be a throw in. Locatelli on the ball. Pass in the middle. Nice defense. Off balance pass, but that was decent. Zanetti. Locatelli. Pass. Wow, what a pass, man. Good work by Locatelli. And he gets the glitch again, bro. Really good challenge. Good work by Locatelli there. Marcos Llorente. Good run by Pire. Well. And the ball goes back. Oh. There's a sense of real urgency to this attack. Real opportunity. Oh. Good pass there by Locatelli. And the attack is over. Good, Good work by Locatelli. Orientes. Bellingham. A bit sloppy in possession. Good work by Locatelli. Good pass there. Pires. The founders recovering possession well. Let's try a shot with Locatelli now. Can he shield the ball? Easily That's the question. Oh, ah, bro! The final Almost, man. His finishing is not good, man. His finishing is not good, guys. Like, it's a pretty solid uh, CDM. He is not a box-to-box -box kind of guy. Like, I created two opportunities for him. And uh, he was off-target in both the opportunities. Like, And it was his strong foot as well. It was not like he was hitting with his weak foot. He took it with his right foot. And somehow, both the shots were off-target. One hit the post and one was off-target. The shot power was not there. Finishing was, of course, look at his finishing. It's 66. And shot power is also 85. So, power was also missing in the shots. And he doesn't have the traits for uh, finishing anything as well. So that is the thing you need to consider when using this card. But if we look at his defense, like defensively he is a beast, a beast of a card. Like if you are looking for a holding midfielder and uh, in future he is going to get upgraded as well. At least plus one will be there. I don't know about plus two, plus three, but plus one will be there for this card. Gives links to Syria, Italy and Juventus, which is another nice thing because there are so many players from Syria. He will give link to Giroud as well. Giroud is a cracked card. So, uh, defense is overpowered. He was making those uh, automatic interceptions as well. He doesn't have the traits, but still he, he was making those uh, interceptions. What I, I would consider this card, I would consider this card to be used as a holding midfielder who will stay back and defend. So, if you are looking for someone who just stays back and defends and who is strong, because he is strong, man. He was not getting bullied. He was bullying the opponent sometimes, like he was able to get the ball from the opponent. His tackles were amazing, animations were crazy, positioning was very nice. Speed-wise, I didn't face, face an issue with him because he was catching up with the opponent most of the time, which was nice. Heading-wise, he was good. He was winning the headers as well. Passing, I told you, it was very, very nice, like he was not missed passing at all. And 4-star weak foot is another advantage you get in this card. He is not going to miss pass. All in all, a pretty solid defensive midfielder and right now he's selling for somewhere around 100k, I guess. Let me quickly check the price of this card. The game hangs. Yeah. So, yeah, he is somewhere around 100k. 100k for this card, which might get an update in the future, is not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's a pretty solid card to use in game, man. So, all in all, guys, this is a nice card. If you want to go for him, if you're looking for a Syria defensive kind of midfielder Barela is another option but Barela doesn't have the height this guy has got the height as well like he's 6'1 which is another interesting thing and his work rate is also very nice medium high and he's a lengthy player as well 
so there is no, no no drawbacks in this card if we are looking at a defensive midfielder if we are looking at a box to box midfielder then this guy is not for you you just don't go for this card if you are looking for a box to box someone who can hold the field who will be always there to defend go for him he will do the job so that's the review for locatelli guys if you have any queries about this card of locatelli or any other card in efc 24 please do mention in the comment section and uh, i'll definitely reply if you haven't yet liked the video please like it and if you have not yet subscribed the channel please do subscribe it support the channel guys and don't forget to click on the bell notification and select the option all so that you don't miss out on any of the videos i create in this channel that's it guys thank you so much my name is gaurav you are watching a parisha games bye peace don't forget to subscribe